Michelle here. Welcome to Tabata. I'm going to take you through a half of a Tabata class today, but no worries. If you want to do a full Tabata class, just repeat. We're going to do eight exercises, each one four times, and um, we'll rest a minute in between each one. Again, always good to talk to your doctor if you haven't been Tabata and make sure you get a clearance. Otherwise, I'm going to show you modifications for different levels. Again, if an exercise doesn't work for you, just sit this one out or try something else that you've done before. All right, we're gonna get started with lunges side to side. So I'm gonna go level one, no impact. You can reach down or tap your knee. Making it harder, you can add that hop. All right, anything in between. We're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You ready? Here we go, go. Good, keep your back straight, shoulders high. Good, keep the movement going. Remember, I'm not using music, but be sure to crank up your own music that you like. Five more seconds. Looking good, folks. And rest. When you're resting, make sure you just keep moving a little bit. Grab drinks anytime you want. And get ready. Here's round two. Go. Alternating lunges, side to side. Reaching down if you wish. Tapping that knee. Keeping your shoulders higher than your hips. Remember, you don't have to hop. You can make it low impact. And rest. Good. We have two more to go. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Again, lunge side to side. Go. Looking good. Keep moving and breathing, folks. Work at your pace. And rest. All right, we got one more of this exercise. Grab a drink when you need it. Take longer breaks if so. Ready, go. Almost there. And break. Good. While you're resting, I'm going to show you the next exercise. We'll be going to a lying down position, so we'll make a pat. We're going to be doing bridge dips. So center yourself to your feet or hip distance apart. You can lift those hips. If you have pain with this, we'll avoid this exercise and instead just keep your hips down and do alternating leg lift or double leg lift. If you don't have pain with your hips elevated, you're going to be doing this, either double leg, or if you like to try single leg, making that single leg harder, lifting that leg in the air. All right, so here we go, working on our bridge dips. Ready, go. Squeezing your seat at the top, digging your heels into the floor. Very good. should be working your low back, hamstring, and rest. Good. As you're resting, if you want to get a little range of motion in your neck, you turn side to side. Nice and easy. Get ready. Go. I'm going to do a single leg this time, but you choose to do whichever one you want. Driving that heel in. Good. Keep going. And rest. Excellent job. You can stretch those legs out if you wish this time. Your hamstrings are starting to talk to you. You can give them a little stretch. We have two more to go. Ready. Go. Almost there. Excellent, rest. All right, we have one more to go. Get ready and go. 
remember squeezing that seat at the top. You don't want to do single leg, go to that double leg position. Very good. Or if the hips need to stay anchored, you're doing single leg or double leg lift. Almost there, five seconds, folks. And rest. Great. While you are resting, grabbing a drink, I'm going to explain our next exercise. And if you wish, you have hand weights at home, you can use a hand weight. If you don't have hand weights, no need. Or if you want to grab a can good from your um, pantry, do that as well. I have a hand weight here today. So I'm going to show you hardest to easiest. So with the weight, you'll swing it through, figure eight style, and add that hop. You can lose the hop and keep the weight. And then again, you can use no weight, go back to that hop, touching those hands in between, and then no hop. Very good. All right, we're gonna get started here. Squat figure eights. Ready, go. Again, keeping your shoulders higher than your hips. There. And rest. Very good. Keep moving around. Don't lock out knees. Looking good, folks. Keep going. All right. Ready. Go. Remember, you don't have to hop. Keep your weight in your heels in that squat position. Almost there. Five seconds, and rest. Very good, again, keep moving around. Don't lock out those knees. All right, folks, here we go. Squat figure eight. Ten more seconds, looking great. And rest. Excellent. All right, we have one more. Squat figure eights. Challenge yourself here. Remember, speed is also a way you can change that intensity. Ready, go. job. All right. I'm going to show you the next exercise as you grab a drink, wipe off sweat, and it is going to be lemon squeezers. And again, this can be done with a weight or without a weight. So I'm going to show you hardest to easiest first. And that would be with the weight where you pick up your feet and you press your legs out and your arms up and come back in. You can do this with one leg. You can also get rid of the weight, right? And go back here with no weight. One leg. And then the other option, if you don't want to sit up fully, is to start here, right? And you can do both knees coming in, pressing up. You can do a single leg, if no neck precaution. Picking up those five each time, either double or single. Lemon squeezers. All right, we're going to get started, okay? All right, ready, go. Remember, you're keeping your core nice and strong here. Ten more seconds. And rest. Awesome. I'm just forward so I don't cut my head off each time there. <laughs> okay, folks. Looking good. Remember, you don't have to use the weight. Here's number two. Go. Remember, you're going at your pace, not mine. Just yours. Ten 
and rest. Great job. You can rest seated and then this is up position or lying down if you need to stretch your abs. It's a great way to stretch there. All right, we got two more to go. Ready, go. So I'm showing you that one, what was the option here? Rest. Excellent work. We have one more to go. Oh, it's a nice day out. This is my backyard, by the way. <laughs> so welcome to my backyard. Here we go. Last lemon squeezer. Go. Five more seconds. Oh, rest. Fantastic, folks. All right. Grab a drink if you need it. I'm going to show you our next exercise. Um, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what my feet are doing. Again, I'm going to show you hardest to easiest this time. So it is three skis and a touchdown. So one, two, three, touchdown. One, two, three, touchdown. Keep your shoulders over those hips. Back heel is up. All right. If you don't like the impact, this is a variation that you can try. You're starting low and you're tapping back, but there's no weight on that back leg. All right. So you're tapping back, but there's no weight. Three, two, one, touch down. Again, you don't have to touch down. Reaching down is just fine. The goal is to keep your shoulders over your hips. Okay. Ready. Here we go. Three skis, touch down. Go. And rest. Again with this one, keep moving. Let's get your heart rate going. So pace yourself. Ready. Go. Keep going, folks. Ten seconds. Looking good. And rest. All right. Two more to go. Keep moving. Keep breathing. All right. Three ski touchdown. Go. And rest. Awesome job. One more to go. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Looking good out there. All right, last one. Go. Almost there. And rest. Excellent job. All right, grab a drink if you need it. Our next one's going to take us back down to our mat. You're going to be going from a knee, an elbow position. So from here, we're gonna start on our knees and we're going to be doing shoulder presses. So this is for our upper back and our um, back of our shoulders. We're gonna be leaning forward and coming back. To make this harder, tuck your toes under, lift your knees forward back here. All right. Excellent. If you find that your shoulders are getting tired, no need to do the hinging forward and back. Just hold that dolphin position on your elbows, on your knees or toes, okay? All right, here we go. Ready, go. Rest. Excellent job. Keep breathing. Keep 
breathing here. Open up your hip flexors. You can squeeze your glutes a little bit. Open up through your chest. Open up those arms. Ready. Here we go. Almost there. Rest. Excellent job. We have two more to go. And then let's see, we have left two more exercises. So we're almost done with half of the Tabata class, folks. All right, ready, go. And rest, very good. One last one. Dolphin position, shoulder press. Ready, go. And rest. Excellent job. All right, our next one's going to take us up standing position. So if you have a mat that you're using, you can use that as your width. But we are going to be starting at one side. And if you have weights, you can use um, weights for this as well. And I'll show you what I mean. But you'll be low and you'll shuffle, reach down or touch down on each side. Okay. So if you don't want impact, you're doing sidestep, reach down. Okay. Weights, you can add by shuffle and put down, shoulders stay over those hips, and then you pick them up, all right? Okay, so you can choose to use the weight or not use the weights. All right, so here we go. Low, go. Try to close your feet at each end. It's gonna help you kind of work on balance and also your inner thighs, and rest. Keep moving around. Ready, low, go. Remember, you don't have to use weights. Shoulder stays up. See your faces and rest. Good. Two more of these to go. Keep moving. Don't walk out those knees. Low. Go. Oops. Rest. All right, folks, one more to go. Keep moving, keep breathing. All right, last one. Low, go. And rest. Fantastic. We have one more exercise to go. We're going to do that on the floor. And we're going to go to either a all fours position for up downs, where we're dropping down, down, and going up and up. To make this harder, we would start more in an incline position, walking our knees back. We want to avoid sinking in our stomach. And we want to keep our booty squeezed. So incline the same way, going down, down, up, up, or from a push up position, down, down, up, up. So we'll be alternating our arm leads. So we'll start with right going down and going up, and then we'll go to left. Okay? So choose your style of starting. Ready? Go.
This is a great core exercise. Build strength for those push-ups. Almost there. And rest. Excellent. Again, opening up those chest muscles, squeezing your shoulder blades, squeezing your glutes. This time, left leg. Ready. Go. So up, up, down, down. Almost there. And rest. Excellent work, folks. Two to go. Hope you're feeling good out there. All right. Right lead. Ready. Go. Keeping that core strong. Abs engaged. Booty squeezed. Five seconds. And rest. Excellent. One more to go, folks. Left lead this time. All right. Ready. Go. Again, any position here from all fours to that incline to that full push up plank. Make it work for you. Four seconds. And rest. Excellent work. We're gonna do a couple stretches of the major muscle groups that we worked. So going from that lying down position. Figure four stretch, crossing that ankle over. And then if you need more assistance or more stretch, you're pulling those legs closer to you. Good job today, everyone. So good to have you in my backyard. And release, and other side. You can definitely hold these stretches longer. Hamstring stretch, hugging it in, ankle rolls. Excellent, other direction. Point flex, deeper stretch, hugging that leg in. Bending that knee, hugging that knee in, letting your other leg even come out. And then coming back in, you go back onto the floor. Other leg in the air for that hamstring stretch, rolling your ankle one way. And the other way. Point flex. And then deeper stretch. arms to the side, letting your knees slightly drop to the side, keeping your shoulders on the ground. We're going to completely turn over to that side to stretch out our top quad, either grabbing that foot or ankle and bringing that heel towards your seat, pushing your hip forward, or you can drive that heel into the floor, push your hips forward and squeeze your seat, opening up that hip ankle. And here we go for the other side, bringing it back to your back. Let those knees fall to the other side. And again, that other side quad stretch, grabbing that foot or ankle while pressing that heel under. And release. Thank you guys for joining me for a Tabata class during this time. It's good to have you in my backyard. I hope to see all of you really soon. Thanks.